How's it going movie fans? The 9th of March 2024 is the 45th birthday of actor Oscar Isaac. A Golden Globe Award winner who has also been nominated for a further two Golden Globe Awards, Isaac's first feature film appearance came in 1996's Eel Town. He began working steadily from 2005 onwards, but started to gain recognition for his performances around the turn of the decade. Isaac currently has five projects in production, including Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse, which is due for release later in 2024. Here are the Firewall's top 10 Oscar Isaac movies. At number 10 is The Card Counter. William Tell, played by Isaac, having spent eight years in a military prison where he taught himself to count cards, becomes a careful gambler, making sure never to draw too much attention by betting small amounts and never staying at the casinos. But a meeting with the son of a fellow soldier sways Tell to take more risks. The runtime's on 11 minutes and The Card Counter has the full rating of 7.4 out of 10. At number 9 is the Star Wars sequel trilogy. In episode 7, 8 and 9 of the Star Wars film franchise, set 30 years after the Battle of Endor, Isaac plays Poe Dameron, a high-ranking X-Wing fighter pilot for the Rebellion, who becomes part of a group of resistance fighters whose goal is to take down the First Order after its rise following the fall of the Galactic Empire. The runtime's 431 minutes, and the Star Wars sequel trilogy has the full rating of 7.4. At number 8 is Bellabo. Loosely based on the 2001 book titled Cover Up, this biographical war drama tells the story of a group of journalists who became known as the Bellabo Five who arrive in the town of Bellabo in East Timor to report on an imminent Indonesian military invasion in 1975. Isaac plays politician Jose Ramos Horta. The runtime's 111 minutes and Bellabo has the full rating of 7.4. At number 7, is Annihilation. In this sci-fi horror, based on the novel of the same name, Isaac plays Kane, the husband of Lena, a cellular biology professor and a former US Army soldier. After Kane returns home following a year absence, after his condition starts to deteriorate, Lena goes to investigate a mysterious magnetic field which has developed following a meteor crash. The runtime time 15 minutes and Annihilation has the full rating of 7.5. At number 6, is a most violent year. Set in New York in 1981, Abel Morales, played by Isaac, is running a company whose trucks and product are regularly being hijacked. With the company under investigation for illegal activities, Morales faces tough questions about moving forward as he tries to protect his family and his company. The runtime's on 25 minutes, and the most violent year has the foul rating of 7.7. .7. At number five, is Ex Machina. In this sci-fi thriller, Isaac plays Nathan Bateman, the CEO of Blue Book, a search engine company. Bateman invites Blue Book programmer Caleb Smith to his home and challenges him to evaluate a robot with artificial intelligence which has already passed a Turing test to see if it is genuinely capable of consciousness. The runtime's on 8 minutes and Ex Machina has the foul rating of 8.2. At number 4, is Inside Lewin Davis. Isaac received a Golden Globe Award nomination for Best Actor for his performance as Lewin Davis, a folk singer living in New York's Greenwich Village in 1961, who was previously part of a duo, but is struggling to find success as a solo artist. Meanwhile, he is also struggling with his personal relationships. The runtime's on four minutes, and Inside Lewin Davis has the full rating of 8.4. At number 3 is Dune Part 1. Adapted from the 1965 novel of the same name, in the first instalment of what could potentially become a trilogy, Isaac plays Duke Leto Atreides, the leader of House Atreides and the father of Paul Atreides. House Atreides get involved in a war over dangerous desert planet Arrakis, which is rich in a valuable resource called Spice. The runtime's on 55 minutes, and Dune Part 1 has a full rating of 8.4. At number 2, is Drive. In this action crime drama, based on the novel of the same name, an unnamed stunt driver who also works as a getaway driver agrees to do a job to help out his neighbour and her family, including Standard Gabriel, played by Isaac, who has recently been released from prison, but when the job goes wrong, the driver finds himself in trouble with gangsters. The run times 100 minutes, and Drive has a foul rating of 8.5. At number 1 is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. In this animated superhero film, which is a sequel to 2018's Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Isaac voices Miguel O'Hara, aka Spider-Man 2099, the leader of the Spider Society, which consists of a large number of spider people from alternate universes who protect the multiverse which Miles Morales finds himself mixed up in. The runtime's on 40 minutes, and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse has the full rating of 9. Thanks for watching, next week I'll be counting down the files top 10 Alan Tudyk movies, and if you're enjoyed this list please don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe